you doing today? This is the calm before the pretty big storm for this season. Pretty big storm. Um, how's everyone? How's everyone doing? <laughs> Welcome to the channel. It is. Let's see here. It is March 1st. I can't believe it's already March 1st. March 1st, 2024 in beautiful Big Bear, California. So this is going to be a good calm before the storm because it's going to give you a good look at what the town looks like now before the snow is coming. And I'm looking forward to the aftermath of this storm. So starting late tonight, the snow will begin. And we could get maybe one to three inches just shortly after midnight. And tomorrow morning though, tomorrow during the day, we have five to eight inches of snow possible. So that's what I'm looking forward to. And then at nighttime, another inch possible. And then Sunday, we do have a little bit more snow lingering on, but um, I don't know. I, I think our totals could, could be between three and six inches, but I also believe that uh, it, it could be more. It could be more. We need it. It's the last push of the season for the skiers and snowboarders. So bring it, Mother Nature, bring it. Don't forget, if you want to help the channel, go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com. Get yourself some merch. And we're coming up. Uh, I always got to mention these guys because you guys have absolutely loved them. Had so much great, great feedback about them. If you need your skis and snowboards, if you need rentals, go to Get Boards, which is right up here on the left-hand side, right before you get to the village. Big Bear Boulevard. It's called Get Boards. They're extremely knowledgeable. Best prices up here. Um, just the nicest staff, guys. I'm telling you, the nicest staff. Here's one of their shops coming up here on the corner next to Dynasty Chinese Food. Ski and board rental. That's this, this, this mainly the ski shop. And then this is the snowboard shop right here on this corner. And as I told you guys, they will take care of you, especially if you mention that you're friends with the channel. And if you happen to have your own skis and own snowboard, guys, go in there and say you're a friend of the channel and they'll wax it for free. I know how important a good waxing is. I, I might not ski too well anymore. Like, uh, I've lost all my courage out there. It's the weirdest thing ever. I don't know what happened to me, but... As a youngster, I would never go skiing without my skis being fully waxed. I'd wax it myself, but it would be a long process and it was a weekly process because I was skiing every single week for years, years. I know, again, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> it really doesn't. Looks like I was practicing falling down the whole time, but yeah, go to get boards on Big Red Boulevard. One more little little plug another great great shop up here guys don't forget i refer you guys to great ownership who care about the people that's that's the most important thing to me the ones who treat you the best don't overcharge you and a, another shop um is big bear smoke and vape they've got two shops up here the owner sahil is a wonderful man um as i've told you guys he made me feel like I was right at home when I moved up here. I was really, really bummed out. I didn't have any anybody, no friends, no family within 100 miles of this place. And uh, he made me feel super comfortable. Always, always took care of me. Um, gave gave me huge, huge discounts on everything all all the time because he knew that I couldn't afford it. Like just, just a, a really nice man. So I always suggest you support those type of people up here, you guys. And it, it's not just smoke and vape stuff, guys. They, they have other little trinkets and stuff like that too. So I encourage you to go to check it out and just know that you're going in to support a great local and a great friend. Big Bear Smoke and Vape. They have a shop right across from the Get Bored Snowboard Shop and they have a shop over in Big Bear City. But all of these shops, you guys, are on Big Bear Boulevard. All four of these shops, the two Get Bored shops and the two Big Bear Smoke and Vape shops are on Big Bear Boulevard. But yeah, guys, doesn't look like a storm's coming in, does it? But look at how how little snow remains here. Just un unreal. It's unreal. Rachel and I had 
a few more bucks so we can stay in a hotel tonight and tomorrow night to do the live feeds and the time lapses from the hotel. When I get home, I just might say, screw it and do it anyway. Or actually, no, never mind, because it's Friday. There's no way. Prices are not going to be anywhere near my price range on a Friday. Not, not a chance in heck. Look at that. It's just hard, hardly any snow anywhere. When I was running my mouth so much, I forgot to take us through our little village drive, but that's okay. That is okay. So we are getting close to the snowiest part of Big Bear Valley. The further we go this direction, the more snow you'll typically come into. I always tell you guys that uh, we do have an Airbnb on this channel and the information is in the description of the video. Um, just click, click, click on that link and then let, let the owner, Jay, know that you're a friend that you're part of the channel, you are the channel, and he'll hook you guys up big time. His place is right next to Bear Mountain in, in a very snowy part of town. When I say the snowiest part of the valley, I just mean the valley floor area. There's another area in town that does see a little bit more snow, and that's Upper Moon Ridge. And this property is right there in that area between Middle and Upper Moon Ridge, right next to Bear Mountain, and it gets absolutely slaughtered with snow. So, I always suggest you guys uh, try to find an Air Airbnb, either our Airbnb or an Airbnb between the village and the Big Bear Dam if you want the most snow possible. And this is between the village and the Big Bear Dam. Gosh, it's such a beautiful day. <clears throat> if it weren't for weather forecasting, you'd never know that there's a storm coming in. A good one, too. It's going to pack a punch. It's definitely going to pack a punch. As I said, it's going to be one of the best storms we've had all season. No joke. March is technically the second snowiest month of the year up here, so this is going to be a great start to get some snow on March 1st. We will take it. Man, my chest has been killing me. I don't know what's going on. I don't think it's like a heart heart issue, but it's, it hurts. Moving side to side or rolling over in bed, it's just super painful. too fast those of you youngsters out there I know it sounds cliche but you know enjoy life to the fullest don't waste your time on this planet I did a lot of wasting my time on this planet a lot of sleeping a lot of partying a lot of just not contributing to society and I regret it big time even though right now I'm super, super, super exhausted. At least I love what I'm doing. I, I've got a passion for this, for this weather stuff. And uh, that's what 
absolutely drives me, but I didn't realize I had this type of a passion for it until I moved up here, you guys. I've always loved the weather, don't get me wrong, but in terms of being so obsessive compulsive about this whole thing, just please find a passion, find something you enjoy doing, and just kick ass at it every single day. Do the best you can. Look, you can see a little bit of a lingering clouds right there hanging over Snow Valley. Just a nice little, hello, how are you today? We're coming to get you. Bring it, fool. Bring it, fool. I do have a couple hotel videos that we made like well over a month ago that I still haven't posted yet. I gotta post those soon. So once we get some sort of a break in the weather, I'll post those. The reason I haven't posted them yet, guys, because a lot of people have asked about them, saying, didn't you make a video at this place or that place? And the reason I don't post them is because I post so many videos, and none of them are forced videos, guys. These are all because they need to be made. But um, I don't post those yet, because if I post one of those, and then the next day I have to do a calm before the storm video or something like that, then the, the hotel video won't get that, that many views. And I want to do my best to get these hotel owners some great views. I'm you, guys, it's so, so beautiful up here. Like, really, man? Really, dude? For me, this is never redundant. It never gets redundant because it's never the same. Any drive, it's never the same. Either there's less and less snow or there's more snow. Obviously, in the summertime, I'm never doing these long drives around the lake, but I capture every thunderstorm I can. Sometimes, you guys, because thunderstorms aren't that that big, usually, unless we get like, like, like scattered thunderstorms, um, there can be thunder going on four miles away, and when I look out my window, it's it's clear skies. So those are the few times I actually miss something. I'm not necessarily going to chase the thunderstorms. But I'll tell you what, it is March. I am, just like last year, I'm excited for the cold weather to be done. I never thought I'd say that, even last year. And I know none of you ever expected that. But yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to being able to sleep with my windows open, get some fresh air. point out this house I need to find out more more about it one of you guys told me you think it's an Airbnb and if that's an Airbnb you know what for my wife and my insanity I am gonna find a way to spend spend the money for it good news about money good news about money so I've worked hard for a few years to get my credit back in decent shape because I was very irresponsible a total loser I got credit cards, spent money on them, and, and didn't make any payments, and just didn't care. But over the past three years, I've I've really changed everything. Um, 
I started off after all that bad stuff with like a, a, a four, I think it was a 405 FICO score. Like I, I wouldn't be able to finance anything back then, but I was able to get a few secured credit cards. Um, one of them was like a $2,000 card. I came up with 2000 bucks and sent it in to have a $2,000 credit limit and just built up my built up my stuff. Anyway, long story short, I just applied for an American Airlines Citibank it, um, Advantage card and they gave me a $5,000 limit. So I'm super excited about that. That's going to help me sleep at night a bit for emergencies and stuff like that so I don't have to, to worry about stuff. Very excited. I don't know why I share all this stuff with <laughs> with you guys, but I feel like I, I, I can talk to you and it makes me happy. It really does. And a lot of it is a lot of the stuff that I personally go through and uh, struggle with and eventually overcome. I want to share all that with you guys. You guys are such an incredible family show me so much love I always tell you guys I never ever ever expected any of this to ever come come from this channel I mean all of you know that I never even expected more than a few hundred subscribers if I kept the channel up after years and years and years I just thought no one would want to watch this because why would they want to watch this But a lot of people tell me that it helps them with their depression as well. I've gotten some amazing, amazing responses about this channel, you guys. Like, like life-changing stuff. And I just, I just cannot believe the impact that this channel has had on some people. Again, I believe that's what we're here on planet Earth for, is to help, help each other out. Help each other get through this, this rough thing called life. I don't care what your situation is. Life is not ever, ever easy. I don't care if you have all the money in the world. You know, there's always, always something. There's, there's always something that just stresses us out constantly. Or at least I'll speak for myself. I know there's some very strong folks out there who are able to rise above everything. But I've never been one of those people. And I love being able to share my experience, strength, and hope with you guys in hopes that it does have an impact. We've become a really, really beautiful family here, guys. I've had the honor of meeting a whole bunch of you. I'd love to get something going this summer where maybe we can book a hotel like book the whole thing you guys and have like 20 of us up here and spend the night at the hotel and then in the morning get up and go do like a three or four four mile hike somewhere and um and then go out to lunch afterwards or something i just i i really want to have this special time with you guys because you guys have impacted my life so so deeply If I had a million dollars, you guys, you guys would be so taken care of. So taken care of. Alright, so we're still driving through Fonskin right now. We're coming to the end of the Fonskin neighborhoods. Then we're going to take another little shortcut up here. We're going to drive by the observatory again and uh, the Serrano campground. This is our, our most well-known campground as far as I'm concerned. So right now we're on North Shore, Highway 38, and we're going to turn here on North Shore Drive or North Shore Lane. North Shore Lane. And this is where you're going to come into uh, the observatory.
And for those of you who want to see the observatory, I got a nice private tour of it this last summer, so we do have a video. I don't know if I created a, a, a playlist for it individually, but um, it's, it's a really in-depth tour. We learned everything about the darn place. And here it is, right down this walkway. There she is. guys this whole area is the Serrano campground I wish there was a way we could drive in there right now so I could show you guys it's pretty expansive and I believe that some of it goes down on this side too I could be wrong I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure some of it does and we have a nice mobile home park down here as well Everything's really, really close to the lake right here, or right on the lake on the right-hand side. And again, this is North Shore Lane, is, is what we are on right now. So here's how to get into one of the parks here. I think that's probably, guys, probably our, our nicest park in, in the whole town. I would definitely be happy living in there. Even though I grew up in a big, big house, in a place where it's location, 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 um, I'm okay in a tiny, tiny spot. As long as I have my wife with me and our pets, everything's good. Well, see that guys, we're back on Big, or big Bear Boulevard. We're back on North Shore Highway 38. See on the left hand side here there's just there's just no snow anywhere nothing you'll see little patches right here on the right of this filthy dirty snow that's from the snow plows and right there obviously doesn't get a lot of direct sunlight so it just ices up each day and melts a little bit and then refreezes and then melt and then melts and so forth and so on look at that view can you guys imagine living here? Am I lucky or what? Am I lucky? I came from Newport Beach on the on the water, so I came from one beautiful place to another, but I mean, this is just super lucky to live here. Sometimes, believe it or not, I take it for granted the longer that I've lived here, I do a little bit, and I try to really not do that. funny grew up at the beach <clears throat> spent most of my life at the beach and didn't go to the beach as much as you would think and now that I'm away from the beach <clears throat> I think about the beach a lot just like when I was down there I would think about the mountains a lot because I never got to come up here that often <clears throat> excuse me it just seems like for me personally I end up taking wherever I'm at for granted even living in, in Denver and going skiing every week at the world's best ski resorts and living in Hawaii, I took that for granted. So 
I think we're gonna take the back route into Moon Ridge. So instead of taking Stanfield Cutoff right here like we usually do, we're gonna go down one more street to Division Road. And boy, am I excited about the snow. For the one of you still watching at this point, I'm gonna be launching the next little verse for, for the wrap um, tomorrow when we have the heavy snow falling in there. I'm excited about that. I'm doing it then because when we get more snow, we get more views. So I want people to see it and enjoy it and be proud of me for stepping out of my comfort zone and trying to have a little bit of fun and be silly with y'all. that takes you from South Shore to North Shore. So from the resort side of town to the not resort side of town. Here's our little airport. Highway 18, which is Big Bear Boulevard. We're going to cross this and take this into Fox Farm and then through Fox Farm to Moon Ridge. Yeah, pretty crazy how little snow there is. Mother Nature, hook us up, please. We need a good dumping. As I said, I think that's what we're going to get. Even though, you know, best case scenario, it could be between like six and 12 inches of snow. I don't think we're gonna get more than six inches of snow out of this thing. It's just from my experience recording every storm. I have no, uh, you know, no knowledge on why I think that. It's just from my experience. you guys I am going to show you all the shortcuts and I'm going to create a playlist for it just to make it easier for you guys so this summer when there's no snow less traffic um, I am going to do a bunch of individual videos for a specific playlist which is going to be called shortcuts in Big Bear or something like that but I want you guys to not waste your time up here just always remember, I'm always sending you guys through through some neighborhoods and stuff like that, so just please drive extra cautiously.
We're at Fox Farm Road now. We just came off of McAllister, and now we're getting back on to McAllister. We're just on Fox Farm Road for about 15 feet right now. <laughs> That's another thing you'll notice when you're up here and you spend a decent amount of time up here that a lot of these, these roads have more than one name. If you go down the road far enough, it's, it changes names for some odd reason. Callister is going to change names again to Cougar and I believe it starts right here. Yep, we're on Cougar Road now. Side streets, shortcuts that I show you guys. That's going to be quite the effort to make all the shortcut videos, but I'm looking forward to it for you guys. We're going to take a little drive by Bear, and then we should be pretty close to the end of the calm before the real storm. It's looking like when it comes to the storm that our winter storm watch was removed and a winter weather advisory was put in place. That is something I don't like because that's an indicator of less snow. Winter storm is basically the strongest type of snowstorm we can get. Of course, a blizzard warning and a blizzard watch is the next level for intensity, but winter storm, warning and winter storm watch, I'm always looking for that, always. This is where the old zoo used to be located, right here. That's what we need to do. We need to do another zoo video. That would be awesome. Well, here we go. Here's my favorite ski resort in Southern California. Looks beautiful. 
Apparently, February was a record month for snowfall at at Bear Mountain. That's what they say. I don't know. I don't know, but you know what? I'm not going to argue with it. I just don't know. sledding location if you turn around where we're at right now and go the other way and just go till it it ends you'll you'll be good you will hit the free sledding location it's at the very end of this road going the other direction side on the corner of Club View and Moonridge Road. aren't a huge fan of zoos because of the just keeping all of them all all the animals enclosed and imprisoned this is a really good zoo they actually take injured animals from out out in the wild and they re, they rehabilitate them and then they let them go it's really great what they do Okay, well, get ready to see a lot more snow on the ground. It's gonna be great. If you guys like what I do, hit the like and subscribe button. Please help the channel out. I try to bring you guys as much information as I possibly can regarding the weather in Big Bear. Um, I hope you guys think I do a, a good enough job and I'm personable enough, so please like and subscribe. And as I said, don't forget, if you wanna help the channel, there are a few ways to help. You can go into the description of the video and scroll down and there will be ways to help. Um, and also go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com and order yourself some merchandise and please wear it with, with pride and honor and know that without you guys none of this would have ever come to fruition. So thank you again for everything. I will chat with you guys later. Happy March 1st, 2024. Peace out, you guys. See you tonight.